Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Kenna here. So, I'm sure you can tell from the title of this vlog is that I am getting surgery today. And, well, tomorrow actually. So we are going up to Raleigh the day before. We're gonna get some Cheesecake Factory going a nice kind of like a, a last dinner before the surgery and hopefully you can eat some good cheesecake. And we just have to drive two hours to get there. I'm with my man's, he's Whoa. right here. But it should be fun. I will definitely keep you all updated on the process. And I'll see you when we get there. Bye. <laughs> so we just made it to Cheesecake Factory. It looks like there is a extremely long line like reservations to get a table. So, are you leaving? Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. He's leaving me, I guess. But, so we're gonna, you know, reserve our spot and then probably go walk around the mall. And, yeah. Oh, he's coming to open the door for me. Oh, maybe not, Never mind. <laughs> you just walked a whole 360 around. It literally feels like the whole ground's shaking here. So I'm not going crazy. No. See? What is that? That's what I was walking on the car for. Is that the car? No, it's not the car. It's like the legit ground. Yeah, it is. What the hell? Oh, I just cursed. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I don't care. I say like shit and fuck and stuff like that in this channel. <laughs> it's not a kid's channel. Not a kid's channel? No, it's not for kids. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So, we made it to our hotel room. I have my hair in a nice, you know, messy bun right now. But yeah, so, nerves are definitely setting in. I am super nervous for the surgery stuff. And Josh is trying his hardest to, you know, keep me busy not thinking about it, but you know. Gilly do so much. Hi. What's up? <laughs> That's all you're gonna say is sup. Yeah. That's it? Nothing else? <laughs> yeah. You what? sure? What do you want me to say? I don't know, be you. Be me. Uh, I'm boring, so. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not as boring as he claims to be. Okay, I'm boring when I'm on camera. Yeah. Oh. That's gonna have to change. I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> what was that, you dork? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now we're just gonna be chilling like a villain, or chilling like a Disney villain, hanging out in an uh, extended stay in Durham before we get my surgery tomorrow. Oh. Anything else to add? Sugar Plum Fairy? Time to go to bed. Night. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, we are such a a weird couple. <laughs> yeah, but I love it. Wouldn't have it any other way. Nope. But I'm probably not going to be sleeping tonight, so I'll probably just play Age of Mythology. I mean. I'm sure, no, Age of Empires, but I'm sure I'll get all my sleep when they put me under for anesthesia. Yeah. Because I was telling him last time when they put me under for my boobs, I um, it was like the best sleep I've ever gotten in my entire life. I don't think I've ever slept as heavy as I slept for that surgery. So at least I know I'll get some rest if I don't sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah. I probably won't get any sleep tomorrow. Oh, yeah, so with the whole, you know, COVID restrictions with the hotels and stuff, they are gonna kick this guy out and not let him stay with me. So, he will be back here in the hotel and I'll just be in the hospital room mm. all alone without my mans. Blame the hospital system. <laughs> no, you could blame COVID, honestly. But, so yeah, while well, I'll be filming alone, and lonely and scared and alone. I'll be crying in here. Yeah, right. You'll be like, 
I'm gonna go to strip clubs. Uh, I'm gonna go see all the girls. Nope. I'm oh. free for the night. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. You're the only girl. Yeah. Beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I think it is 11. So that means it's like 11 hours till my surgery. And I won't be able to walk for six weeks. So. Any last words for tonight at least? Night. All right, you heard it from the man. Night. Any sound, it's weird. What's that making any sound? Like, it's not freaking telling us anything. Oh, you just missed that turn. What? How the hell? Yeah, I need to make, make a left here. Go up there and then make a U turn. Head north on Tower Boulevard, then turn left to merge onto US 15 North toward I 85. I never use the voice when I drive, when I use it. Do I have to go straight now? What, what's going on? Let's go straight. Why well, have to be? Actually, I'm gonna make a U turn and make that, that turn back there. So, good morning, guys. As you can tell, we went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I never use the voice thing on the Siri because it disrupts my music or if I'm listening to YouTube it at just... the light use the left lane to make a u-turn at Shannon Road yeah, then turn like right that. onto Tower like Boulevard using... anywho we're still on our way yesterday I was saying to Josh that you know I was like mostly kidding you know when I said oh we should just cancel the surgery at the but light turn right onto now, Tower Boulevard now this morning I'm more then like turn left to merge onto US 50 North toward I-85 Okay. Now more like what? Maybe we should. <laughs> he keeps saying no. Oh, we gotta do it. But I know my mom. She texts me. She's just like, you know, it's just like you're just gonna get, you're gonna get sleepy, you get, get go to sleep, wake up, you're gonna be super drugged. To merge onto US 15 North yeah, toward I-85. So yeah. So we're behind two semis with, without the trailers. And. Oh yeah, also, I know like, everyone knows that like, most people know like you're not supposed to eat like 12 hours before or after midnight and even just like the thought of food right now makes me to throw up because I'm just that nervous. Have you ever been that nervous where you're so nervous where if you eat you just throw up? No. Oh, so just me then, cool. So, other... I know, BB, I know. Well, I'll see you whenever I see you. Hello guys, it's Kenny here. I am in the hospital bed with Mr. Josh here. Hey guys. Um, so, it was originally supposed to be two hour surgery or whatever, and it ended up being like a four hour surgery. That I had a lot more cartilage damage to my knee than initially anticipated. But overall, surgery went well. Um, yeah, I'm, like I'm fine now, I'm not really loopy anymore. I'm in no pain whatsoever, which is amazing. But however, though, when I first woke up, it took me like probably like uh, 30 minutes or so to kind of fully grasp about where I was and what happened. And I kept, ask, I think I asked the nurse like at least three, four times if I was in Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I was like, are you sure I'm in Grey's Anatomy? But yeah, so it's really went good. We are currently eating some breakfast. Yeah. Not, whoa. Lunch. Lunch. Or dinner, it's 4 p.m. at the moment. Um, so here we go. Josh got the same stuff as well. Yep. Originally I was told that only I'll get food and he won't. He'll have to go to the vending machine. But the trick is, if he becomes friends with the nurses, you, because the nurses run the hospital, to be honest. They really do. And so they gave him food too. So yeah, it's been, I know I said I was terrified beforehand, but the experience so far has not been bad. And yeah, it's been a good day so far. I guess so. All right. Well, I'm gonna go finish this food and I'll talk to y'all later. Oh wait, I need to show you something real quick. Never mind, I lied. I'm not leaving in.
Can you take this for me? I can, baby. I wanted to show you everything that I'm hooked up to because I feel like that would be fun. So here's the blood drain thingy. And then this is a 24-7 ice pack. Not sure what this is, but it's a moment. And on this leg here, I have a compression thing that makes it so that way I don't have blood clots. It kind of like feels like someone is taking your blood pressure. That's what it feels like. And I think these are all waters. And then I have my Sprite and crackers and one of his favorites, goldfish. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you all have a great day and I'll pull you in later. The current mission, actually, the current mission is to see if we can get Josh to stay overnight. But we'll see. Good morning. So I hope you're all still tuning in on this video. Today is the following day after surgery. I just spent the night at the hospital for the very first time. And they gave me some medication through the IV to make me fall asleep. And yeah, that worked really well. And I know I filmed earlier, which you'll see obviously before this part, but I don't remember what I said. But hey. Josh is here hanging out with me. He couldn't stay here overnight, unfortunately. So, it was just me and my little uh, Emolga Pokemon that fell underneath the bed and I uh, never saw again until this morning. But things are doing well. They gave me an epidural liquid form this morning, so my legs completely numb and they have nerve blockers as well. And it is currently like 7 40 45 almost so i was waiting on word of when i can get discharged and head home and yeah and that's been decent i think so far no pain as of yet but going to the bathroom get walking like 10 feet using crutches takes all my energy out it's not enjoyable to say the least and he's worried Half the time through the whole entire thing. Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> but, yeah, now I'm just relaxing. Alright, well, I'll tune you, tune back in later, and we'll see what's going on. Bye. Hello, everyone, again. It's Kenny here. Josh is driving us home. He's doing a great job so far. And so before they let me go home, they gave me a Kind of like a liquid epidural, and then they also have me on a nerve blocker that's gonna last till Sunday, which is this thing right in here. It's where all these tubings and wirings are for. I'm kind of like afraid I want to move the wrong way and just like tear it out. That would not be good. And so that's gonna last till Sunday or like Monday, whenever the medication's done, and. Then I guess Josh is in charge of taking the IV out, which I know I wouldn't be able to do it myself. I'd be too freaked out, but I know he'll do a good job. Anywho, we are now about like an hour and a half away from home-ish. But I just can't wait to get home and go sitting, you know, like this. It can only give you so much comfort. And I'm ready just to on the couch and be a couch potato for the next four weeks. But yeah, that's the only thing new that happened that's notable to share. Alright, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Hello, and final video. I am home. I am relaxing on the couch. My kitties are hanging out with me. That one's right there. But yeah the pain is kind of starting to come in you now my leg um it's a lot of like it just feels like a lot of throbbing and it's like near the bottom of my calf i would say yeah so i am just hanging out here and gonna be a couch potato for the next god knows like six weeks i have my first physical physical 
therapy appointment on Tuesday and that's gonna suck because I heard it's gonna be a lot of pain, it's gonna be really painful, which you know I am not looking forward to. The ride home was not fun either, it was two and a half hours and I had to sit in the back seat diagonally and, and it just was not fun. So yeah. But this is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you come back for the next video. All right, have a great day and remember to follow my Instagram and my TikTok. I'll put all that down below. All right, bye guys.